Hello, I'm Abyex, and this is Q&A Saturday, the weekly series on my channel and answer your questions that have been asked over the past week or so across my channel. These tend to be mostly focused on the next Minecraft update, which we're currently calling the Aquatic Update for every single platform, uh, but it also tends to be about things related to me, my channel, and other things like that. So all those questions will be answered today, and if you want to leave a question for next week, make sure you leave it in the comments down below, as long as it's not one that I answered this week. You have a chance of being answered next week, because I go through all of them, and I work out the more interesting questions that are worth answering. So yeah, that said, I hope you do all enjoy this week's Q&A, you can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like the Q&A Saturday I want to keep on seeing it every single week. Uh, and let's get straight into the first question which comes in from Mahat723, again all these uh, comments are from last week's Q&A, uh, who says 1.14 is called the Update Aquatic, shouldn't it be called the Aquatic Update to not break the tradition of previous updates such as uh, the Bountiful Update, the uh, the Frostburn Update and the Combat Update. So yeah, every update since I believe it was 1.4, the Redstone, uh, 1.5, the Redstone Update um, has actually had a, you know, title and then update as their naming system and I imagine when this update comes out there's a good chance it will switch to being the aquatic update I'm not sure why Jeb says uh, update aquatic again his English grasp is like 99% maybe he just made a mistake and he's stuck with it ever since but it could also be that given that 2018 is kind of like a new leaf for Minecraft like 2017 again we've said it before but like as far as PC and Bedrock went it was a pretty bad year for both those platforms I think for console it was a pretty good year but I think for most Minecraft platforms 2017 had a dead year and like 2014 was the same and 2015 and 16 weren't that great either so if they're going to try and turn a new leaf with minecraft and really listen to what people want and stuff like that then i feel like you know changing the update scheme to recognize that this is a new era of minecraft might actually be a good idea so yeah update aquatic it doesn't match what everyone calls it everyone calls it the aquatic update or the ocean update or the ocean aquatic update um and uh, although uh, it could be though that they want to officially name it the update aquatic to kind of like sh signify a shift in update names because what they do before usually is they shift from alpha to beta to full release but given that this is one point you know like 13 we're talking about now it can be kind of confusing to do that and that's why we might see uh the again the aquatic up uh, the update aquatic rather than the aquatic update but we'll have to wait and see it could just be that you know like they keep referring it to him backwards to keep us confused or because they haven't come up with the official title yet who knows but let's move on to the second question which comes in from amazing gamer 64 who says if notch left minecraft why is he commenting saying he dislikes where his game is going he obviously does not want to have anything to do with it right so yeah if you're not familiar with the whole notch and Minecraft saga. The long story short is that Notch made Minecraft, Notch made Minecraft big, and then it got so big uh, and that even when he stepped back from the game, people just complained at him. Every single time something went wrong. He's one of the most famous game developers in the world, um, even though he wasn't necessarily developing the game. So when there was a big, uh, you know, like debate, people would just come to him and be angry about it. And he decided he didn't want anything to do with it. So he sold the game, Minecraft, to Microsoft for 2.5 billion. So he's a billionaire now, and that's nice, right? Like it's cool to be a billionaire. Uh, but because uh, he sold the game, every now and then he has like opinions and what they're doing with it now he really doesn't like the mine coin system and he doesn't like stuff like that because uh he has no control over the game anymore not necessarily because he wanted to give it up but because he just you know he didn't want to be in control anymore and uh, yeah that's that's why notch complains about a game that he made uh not because he is just not using his control but because he has none anymore but he's a little bit i guess attached to the idea because everyone attaches him to it even now he hasn't been part of the game for years which is why you know notch's name even though you know he hasn't been a minecraft developer since like 20 2013 or 2012. Uh, he sold it in 2014, but he has been developing it for many, many years. So yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the third question. I hope that wasn't too complex, which comes in from King Boing, who says, Q&A, why do you only do qu 10 questions on Q&A Saturday? And that's mostly a length thing. I feel like these Q&As are best when it's something you can just, again, absorb in a roughly fixed amount of time each week. Uh, and 10 questions seems to be the right balance for that. Because I could answer every single question, but it'd be a six hour video. I could answer four questions, but it would be, you know, a five minute video. And I feel like 10 questions is a nice balance. It's a nice round number and uh, also again it seems to fit how I like to do these things uh, but for this week just for you King Wayne we'll do 11 questions instead of 10 or 11 comments at the very least uh, so yeah there you go that's why I do it roughly that way because I think it's the best way to balance uh, the length versus the quality of the questions because a lot of questions are kind of like nonsensical too and you know answering every question like which are kind of boring to some people it's it's a balance you have to draw every single week it's surprisingly hard to pick questions and I do scroll through every single one of them so just keep that in mind in case you want to like in case you think it's like some huge conspiracy or something so let's been the next question which comes in from Trip Orton who says why do people always want useful mobs uh, that's like removing ocelots and bats because they don't do anything uh, and yeah that's a uh, I, I guess that's an opinion I kind of get where people uh, you can say like oh yeah well if you're not adding penguins because they're not useful and you're scared of adding too many mobs because they're not useful then why not remove existing unuseful mobs but the truth is 
Think about uh, what gets you excited in Minecraft. Like when you first find a cow, it's great because you can kill it and you can see it and stuff. But it's also great because it has a real use in your world. You need that leather. You need that, uh, you know, meat. And it's the same true for most of the mobs that have existed for the longest time. All the new mobs they're adding though, they thought about adding something cute first, like a cute model or whatever. And then they didn't really consider how they would interact in the game. And it means we have now like Minecraft with a lot of useless content. You don't want to have a game where 99% of the content is useless. You want to have every, you know, piece of thing in the game have some kind of use that's why gold armor is kind of like a weird thing right when you find a gold sword you're like why does this exist and it's the same kind of thing with useless mobs like having them in the game is genuinely a bad thing because it dilutes the pool of content you can actually use makes it harder to pick up makes it harder to understand what's going on and that's why i think they should make every mob have some form of use in minecraft and although you say like oh yeah that's like moving ocelots and bats that's not a good thing i think ocelots actually are quite useful and bats we really honestly you could remove them from the game and it would take people weeks to notice they'd be like i haven't seen a bat in a while have you no oh that's odd and then a week later you'd be like wait a minute did they remove them entirely so yeah uh removing bats i'd be on board with like give them a use or remove them uh because i mean like honestly when was the last time you cared about seeing a bat if uh, you leave a comment down below maybe but I, I i don't know if anyone does so let's move to the next question which comes in from drop pod productions who says in the united kingdom do you really call your mother's mum uh yeah i don't know why this is like a weird us uk slash world uk difference but the rest of the world seems uh, at least at least america i mean i know canada US, uh, Australia, etc. Says mum too, but we do actually call uh, our mother's mum with a U, uh, which I know it's it's weird. Uh, and we also call them I don't know I think this is just the UK like but mummy as like when we we're younger. And I think I call my mother mummy until like an embarrassingly old age, like eleven or something. So there you go, fun fact. Now you know about Toy Cat and what he calls his mother. So uh, nowadays I think I could just call her mother. But whatever. Let's move to the next question, which comes in from Jose Marcos. Pima, Pina, I think that is, who says, Thanks, Toy Cat. My son and I learned everything in Minecraft from you. I entered the Never for the first time, and your portal protection worked like a charm from one of your videos. Thanks. Uh, and yeah, I wanted to put this comment in here because it's a good reminder that even to this day, people are still finding uh, Minecraft for the first time. They're still learning these things that some of you might consider really basic. Uh, and uh, in this case, it really helped uh, Jose Marcos Pina and his son. And I wanted to just share that because there are sometimes I consider doing these like back to basic series. Um, and although I don't want to ever do it so that it's useless if you already know the game, I do want to give like some tips for the beginning of Minecraft again. And I don't know exactly how to do it, but I think the everything you need to know about Minecraft in 10 minutes or uh, kind of thing I think that might be a good way to do things so just expect to see that in the future and on the flip side of comments we have this one from Lucky O Pagecko who says oh so they're adding penguins in the aquatic update because uh, that's from the aquatic update video it's kind of mind-blowing when you read the comments sometimes about like do people read the comments like or like write a comment before they're done with the video or do they watch like you know 20 uh, you know like 20% of the video then they're like you know what that's probably enough I get the vague idea of this one so in that video I very clearly like showed off like the clip where they say oh yeah penguins not in this update maybe in a future update but still this comment got six upvotes and it's just a good example of like please try and watch the video all the way through i know a lot of people don't like that i know statistically only like one in like 10 people watches every single one of the video but if you do watch a video all the way through i, I appreciate you and uh i don't know i, I wish there was some uh, i said this before i wish there was some way to see comments by like watch the video because then you could just kind of dismiss this stuff but maybe they did watch it and they didn't understand what jeb's saying so just to answer your question lucky over gecko uh no penguins are not coming in the update aquatic they might be coming at some point in the future Jeb did confirm, but he confirmed they're definitely not in the aquatic update based on that video. So let's go on to the next question, which comes in from uh, Ibrahim Hubi, who says, Q&A, random, but I can't figure it out. How do I use pick block in creative mode? Bedrock edition. Uh, P.S. I know I don't have to say Q&A. I just want to. If you want to say Q&A, sure. So uh, if you want to use pick block, you go to your controls and you have to add a button for pick block. So because uh, I'm playing on Xbox, I use right on the D-pad. If you're on the keyboard, you can pick any key you want, like the P key if you want to for pick block. If you're on a phone I, I don't actually think you can do things so yeah if you're on bedrock uh, and you have assignable keys you can pick a button for pick block but you have to have some control scheme to do that because there's no touch base for it as far as i am aware so there's your answer to your question let's move to the next one which comes in from cody westling who says toy cat do you still edit all your own videos or he didn't say toy cat but you know i am he's, he's asking toy cat so it's fine for me to add that so do you uh, do i still edit my own videos mostly i edited this one you know q and or i haven't edited it yet but i will by the time you're 
you're seeing this because things are confusing. Um, I edited all the ones you've seen this week mostly. However, every now and then I do actually, I do actually have an editor who edits maybe one video every couple of weeks. And in particular, he edited every single one of the top 10 update videos because again, I was in Singapore at the time. So uh, yeah, do I still edit my own videos? Mostly, yeah, but every now and then I try to hand them off because I feel like you also get a better quality that way. The only reason I don't, you know, do more is because like there's big expenses to it. Um, and I feel like uh, if you can separate the editing from the actual recording things, that'd be a big advantage for me because I could release small videos or I could release high quality videos. And it's something I might do in the future. And I'd be excited for the time I can do that. But right now, like, you know, the way YouTube is, it's just not quite feasible yet to edit, uh, you know, to not edit all my videos. But maybe at some point in the future, I'll, uh, I'll move to that. So to answer your question, I do edit like 95% of my videos. And at some point it'd be nice if I didn't, but I still do. So yeah, this moves the next question, which comes in from yeah, boy Nails or Nellis, who says uh, Q&A, why do you hate emojis? I've been confused about why. So I think I voiced my uh, my disappointment uh, with the emoji system uh, for quite some time now because emojis uh, they fit, so the 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 uh, intended use for emojis is so that you can share your mood or your emotion with someone as well as the message because if you just say the message like um, just got home. Uh, kind of, you know, kind of sad, then if you have a sad face, then you're feeling really sad. But if, if you like include a smiling or like a, you know, a winking face or the, the laughing crying emoji, then it's like, ah, oh, look, it's a funny joke or something. So you can convey jokes, you can convey sarcasm, you can convey emotions using emojis. That's kind of great. However, First of all, we already had a system for that. If you do colon and then P or colon and then a P, you can already smile using keys that already exist. So, emo and second of all, emojis were an accident. Uh, they exist in Japan, but uh, I the iPhone accidentally enabled them everywhere. And now people refuse to give the, you know, get rid of them again. So emojis were an accident. Emojis had a fulfilled purpose, which was done by something else. But the big problem with emojis is people overuse them so much, so much. Like, um, you know, for instance, if you, uh, you know, if something's funny, 16, Fun, laugh, crying emojis. Um, you know, crying laugh, laughter emojis. Um, if you, if you like, uh, people write entire sentences using emojis. People just spam emojis because they think they're keys on a keyboard. And on a phone keyboard, it's just as easy to use these emojis. Uh, emojis aren't visible on the PC. There is a billion issues of emojis. They're not, in my opinion, a good thing for the world because of all those issues. And although, if you're just using emojis to like send messages to friends and be like, haha, that, then that's kind of cool. But if you're like spamming emojis, like some people are, because you think that the way you convey emotion is by adding 15 emojis, then that is like a serious issue. And I, I don't like the number of emojis you see in, in in the common world, in my opinion, just because of that one issue. Like people overuse them. They aren't necessarily, you know, they don't fulfill a use that was already there. And honestly, they were an accident to begin with. Like they weren't something intended. It's just something that now we're like, oh, now we have to add like skin color emoji modifiers and we have to add this and there's emojis for that and for that and for that. And it gets a little bit silly when you go too far into that. So yeah, why do you hate emojis? For all the reasons I just listed, they're, they're a little bit silly. So yeah, this moves to the last question, shall we? Which comes in from uh, Ursus MC who says, q and I watch your geography videos on your second channel. Uh, good studying source, by the way. And have you ever realized that Virginia's uh, most western point is further west than West Virginia? So I have realized this one actually. And um, a lot of people ask me to make a you know, geography video on the America because Americans are my largest audience. Fun fact, if you're in America, then you are statistically most of my viewers. Fun fact there. But yeah, so there's a lot of cool facts about American states I wanted to do geography videos on and I, I made one way back when, but people hate it. Like whenever I mention like a state capital or a state this, uh, people in America like get like really defendant about their own geography. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I, I, I can't necessarily deal with that. So uh, yeah, at some point I will go back to doing American geography videos. Uh, but for now, it's just much more fun than the rest of the world because if you talk about someone else's country they're like oh that's cool yeah this there's this and that and oh by the way you got that wrong and i'll be like oh my bad i got that wrong in america they're like oh my god you don't know that the florida state capital is actually tallahassee why would you think it's Okay, I, I might have broken something with that pretend rage. So <laughs> that's like a real thing. Like, I, I don't know what it is about Americans in their own uh, country. They're like, how do you not know everything about our country? We are the greatest in the world. And it's like, I don't know. I, I, I try, that, that's the only reason I haven't made too many uh, American geography videos. Uh, but at some point, I'll go back to it. And also, thank you for liking the Joker channel. I know a lot of, like, it's surprising how many people are like, oh, yeah, it's okay. I watch that channel. Like, uh, when I spot people around, like, on Reddit or around the world or, like, at conventions. And it's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, the whole, like, county people seem to like uh, the Joker videos. And uh, if you haven't seen them, I guess this is my plug for my second channel, IBX2Cat. Uh, and also, I have a third channel, IBX2Cat Let's Plays. You have to search for it that way. And I'm actually going to start doing Let's Plays on that channel. Because I, I had the real itch this morning. I was doing 
my um, my Minecraft Let's Play for Monday. It's a fun fact that's recorded now. Um, and I was like enjoying it. I was like, you know, wouldn't it be cool to just like dedicate a day a week and just record a bunch of Let's Plays? So I think I might do that. Maybe I'll just start recording Fortnite gameplays and upload those and see how that goes. But it is something I really want to do, uh, like upload Let's Plays on there again. So second channel for Geography, third channel for Let's Plays first channel for Minecraft news and fun facts and stuff. So there you go. There is the Toy Cat channel selection. There is your reason I don't do jokey videos on the, the fact that Virginia's westernmost point is further west than uh, West Virginia's, which for the record is because of like when they originally like got the states, they didn't realize how far west they went. And Virginia was like the worst about saying, no, we go all the way across the continent. And that was a problem. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're around here. And make sure that you, I don't know, like, go and, I don't know, like, wash your hands after using the bathroom or something. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>